Okay, folks, quick video about how to get the Google Photos app on your desktop so that you can back up all the pictures from your fancy camera, mirrorless, DSLR, or whatever. Um, when you open the Google Photos app on your mobile device, it will prompt you to send yourself an email with a link for the Google Photos desktop app. Go ahead and do that. It'll arrive in your inbox like this, and then you can just click on the button to download, and you can see that it's downloading right here. I haven't done this yet, so you're kind of seeing it uh, happen in action real time. So uh, we're going to go to this one. There we go, and I'm just going to drag it into my applications. Got that done, and just like that, we're in business. So to launch it, I'm just going to come find it within my little launcher here. I'm obviously on a Mac. Uh, PC, just keep following prompts. It'll be just as easy as this. Uh, so now we can uh, open this for the first time, and I'll agree, and we'll continue. And I'm going to enter my email. So you select your account, and okay, it brings up this uh, little dialog, and it's wanting you to choose your backup sources, and you can choose as many or as few of these as you want. I'm actually just going to leave them all clicked. Uh, for right now, I'm doing the high quality, the free unlimited storage, and I talk about that in a previous video to help you decide what's right for you. Um, so you have to tune into that. I'm not going to rehash all of that. Um, so I'm just going to leave all of these selected. If you need to add a different folder, an additional folder, you can add folder and then just search your, your drive there. I know that uh, I have all my pictures inside of pictures, and there's some subfolders here, and even subfolders within my pictures, uh, and then subfolders within there. But what it's going to do is just go through and scan all the file types that it's going to back up, such as JPEG, for example, and that's what it's going to pull from. So it's going to pull from the subfolders as well. I hope so. I think so anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to cancel that because my pictures folder is already selected. Uh, high quality, and then you can uh, choose to deselect or select whether or not you're going to help Google Photos improve their service. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, keep that clicked for now. And I'm going to start backup. Let's see what happens. Click the Photos icon to pause, change preferences, or check on progress. Okay, and you'll see uh, click for important info about DriveSync. I'm going to Leave that off for now, but you can see my new little Google Photos icon right there. And so it's looking right now. And you can always get back into the preferences that we just did uh, by doing that guy. All right, thanks, folks.